Hi, welcome to Amalgam Nation. This week's vid is about Warhammer 40k Dawn of War. Not Dawn of War 2, but the original one. I remember the first time I played this game. I fell in love with it. This is one of those games that people get divided over. You either loved it or you hated it. There were, of course, a small few people who thought it was okay but didn't particularly like or dislike it. But for the majority of gamers, it was like Final Fantasy and The Legend of Zelda. This game came out of nowhere and ambushed strategy gamers by giving you the Warhammer 40k universe. Not only that, but giving it to you in the form of a strategy game with a coherent story set in that universe and using the lore of the traditional tabletop game that is Warhammer 40k. You are the commander of the Blood Ravens. You have been sent to rescue a planet from the hated orcs. And shit happens and you must deal with it. As such, you must build your bases, build up your troops, improve their equipment, and kick ass all across the planet. You have your basic space marines. You have big tanks that if they appeared in battle during World War II, the opposing side would have shit their pants and surrendered. You have your scouts that also function as snipers, and they can turn invisible. I love these guys. Give them a sniper rifle, put them on guard in your bases and the enemy lose guys before they even come in range of your actual defences. There are several di several different buildings in this game. Among them are your turrets. These will mow down anything that comes near you, but alas the game limits these to 6 per headquarters building on any given level or map. You have to collect resources and power in order to build your base up, recruit and train troops, make your vehicles. Basically everything you can do is limited by the resources to, at your disposal. And that is what makes this game challenging, or at least it is the thing that stops you from becoming too overpowered, too godlike. Like I said before, I love this game. However, like all real-time strategy games or RTS games, it is the best when played with a group of friends over a network or over the interwebs, whichever one you prefer. I think that I've said enough about this game for now. As always, remember, play to game and game to play.